taxes. We just heard in Leland Tan's report the online sales tax is stirring up some controversy. Joining us from San Francisco with an in-depth look at the topic is tax attorney Robert Wood. He's a managing partner at Wood LLP. Thanks so much for joining us. Let's start with uh, Leeling's story. You know, here are some people. They've got mom and pa operations. Now, all of a sudden, they've got to keep all this paperwork. Um, they're probably not making huge profits to begin with. This is really going to stunt their growth. I guess uh, there's not much that can be done about it, though. I mean, this is something that's it's kind of the genie out of the bottle. You see this is uh, definitely taking hold at, at some point. I, I do, Mike. I mean, I think it's inevitable. Uh, I think there's a lot of hype and there's a lot of misunderstanding. Uh, but uh, but Amazon, uh, as uh, the report indicated, Amazon has really changed its tune. It built its business on the model of not collecting uh, sales tax. And of course, the winds have really changed with online sales exploding. And uh, so now Amazon collects in a number of states. And of course, the move to its, towards some sort of federal um, uh, legislation that would make it easier for the states to uh, impose uh, the tax and get the tax collected is, is I think, going to pass. Robert, you were telling me, I had a chance to chat with you on the phone, though, that there are a lot of people who send you letters who are really angry about this. Yeah, I, I, think, I think there is a lot of uh, confusion and a lot of uh, angst and animosity. I think, understandably, people got used to, I think we all sort of uh, found it attractive to order things online. Amazon, as I say, built its business that way. And so um, when you are used to going online and buying something and not paying tax and not thinking about the use tax, uh, which is a point I want to come back to in a moment, um, it's, it, gets, it gets awfully attractive and then suddenly you start paying it and you think uh, that you know, the world's really changing and this is a, a new tax. Uh, Mike, as I mentioned to you over the phone earlier today, um, the uh, California and some other states, too, are making a big push now to educate people that this is not a new tax. Sales tax has been around, um, you know, for, for decades, in, in California's case, since the 1930s. Um, and, and there have been issues with uh, mail order sales, uh, mail order catalog sales, and that sort of thing, kind of as a precursor to the Internet. And now we have uh, the issue, I, I guess, much more vocally with, um, with the question of what contacts are enough to force a retailer to collect the tax, which is a different point than is use tax payable, the flip side of the sales tax that all of us are supposed to, to report and pay on ourselves any time that we order something um, from where we live and have it shipped to us. Uh, anywhere in 45 states or in the District of Columbia, that's really how prevalent sales tax is. You're already supposed to be reporting on yourself. Well, Robert, let me ask you this about competitive advantage, because a lot of the bricks and mortar uh, companies are pretty upset about uh, the fact that it seems like they're undercut because of uh, online sales, because they don't collect this tax. Is this going to change uh, consumer habits in terms of how they buy things, do you think? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I think those are statistical questions I can't answer. I would think the answer is yes, uh, but there's probably already been a shift. I mean, certainly we saw with with Amazon and, and Overstock and many other of the huge uh, online sellers, we saw this huge gravitation away from bricks and mortar stores. I know uh, that mom and pop stores and even big box stores are upset with uh, people who go into their stores and look at things and then decide to order online. So, I mean, that's a problem. Uh, I suspect some of that may, may uh, have, have uh, cut back a bit with uh, places like Amazon, which, which now um, is collecting sales tax many, many places. And I think there's going to be more of that. But, but well, as you say, I mean, there, there are a lot of people upset about these uh, changes that are, that are coming. Robert, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us from San Francisco this evening. Certainly appreciate it.